Hi beauties, it's the Red Diva and welcome to my channel. Today's a very special day because we are in the month of February, which is National Black History Month. And in honor of Black History Month and the black and brown community, I would love to be able to share some makeup from ColourPop that just came out. And uh, this is called Make It Black. This is a partnership with the organization Pull Up For Change. And they are taking a stand against the vilification of the word black. And 100% of the net profits of the collection sold by ColourPop and also from the, all the brands that are participating in this campaign will go to support black founders through the Pull Up For Change Small Business Impact Fund. So I'm going to post a little bit of pictures of these products so you get a chance to see what they uh, look like and the packaging and everything. But check out the beautiful makeup application that I did and you will get a chance to see it step by step. But the colors are rich, beautiful. Um, uh, just really, really fun. It reminds me a little bit of like carnival and like all those bright, beautiful colors that you find like in Rio, Brazil, you know, and also throughout the Caribbean. So I'm super, super excited uh, to share with you these products and also share with you the pros and cons in terms of the actual products themselves and how they go onto the skin. So sit down, make yourself comfortable, grab a drink, grab a snack or even both and share a little time with the Red Diva. We're ready to start the show. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so I've already primed my lids. I'm using Revolution. It's called the Cut Crease Canvas. It's a great, great concealer and eyeshadow primer. You can also use it to create that cut crease as well. It's got a great little brush applicator like this. And what I usually like to do is I just like to work off of that applicator and just use a regular eye uh, concealer brush. Just I like this one in particular because it's nice and wide, so it only takes a few strokes to kind of cover the entire lid. Or you can apply it directly, but just know that you're going to maybe over apply because it's quite rich and a little bit goes a long way. So, uh, And the shade that I'm using is called Illustrate. So I've shown it before, but I'm showing it again because I really like the texture of it and I like how it just kind of lightens the lid area and prepares it perfectly for the shadows. So now we're going to focus on the eyeshadows. So there's a few things in this collection that I've already uh, presented. And uh, so we're going to start off with the palette. This is the Make It Fearless palette. And we are going to start off with the um, uh, the orange color. That one is called the triple zero right there. Um, and both this color, the triple zero, and also the high key, which is the hot pink one, both of those, they don't recommend it immediately right next to the eye, um, basically because of staining. It contains pigments that are going to kind of grab onto your skin a little bit more, and it might cause some staining, so it's just for you guys to be aware of it. But the other three, the uh, the yellow one, the copper one, and the brown one, do not have any uh, um, advice on being able to apply it and stuff like that. So just so you guys know. So because of that, I'm going to apply both of these colors more high on the lid and less close to the eye itself. All right. So we're going to start off with that one. I'm going to use the triple uh, zero as a transition color. Okay. So I'm going to apply it. Um, a little goes a long way. So as you can see, you know, as, as soon as you tap a little bit into the palette, you're going to see a little bit of fallout, a uh, little excess uh, powder that's going on right there. So just be aware of that. I'm applying this kind of high. It does feel really nice. It kind of has the pigmentation of like Juvia's Place. So if you are used to using those Juvia palettes, then it kind of reminds me of that. Okay. But very silky. A little bit goes a long way, guys. I'm going to get the fluffy brush and just be able to blend that in. Okay, so we have that color laid down. Of course, we're going to continue blending as we go along. Okay, so definitely when it uh, on the palette, it looks more orange. 
like a neon orange and then on the actual skin it becomes more of a sheer coral once you blend it out okay so then i'm going to use the hot pink one which is the uh high key right here mm -hmm. and again you just want to be mindful of any fallout Again, really, really nice. Good payoff on the colors. Easy to lay down and kind of keep it in a tight spot. Um, and then you blend as you wish. We're going to go back to that coral color, that orangey color coral. I just want to add a little bit more of that color on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. All right, so then now I'm going to go ahead and use a smaller brush and I'm going to add some depth here with the color Say Yes right here, the chocolate one right here. The powders are nice and silky. They go on really, really smooth and they blend extremely smooth as well. I'm going to use the Glitter NYX uh, eyeshadow base. I just like that one for whenever I have to put down um, eyeshadow that is on the sparkly side. I just like to use that for that purpose. Now I'm going to be using, I'm going to use with this type of semi-flat brush with a fluffy top. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, coppery one that's called Bold. I want to apply that. And I'm also going to use the yellow tone right here, which is called Oasis. I'm going to apply that on the inside. Putting it under the brow as well. I'm going to go back to that coral color. It looks so much more orange in the palette than it does on the skin itself. So I have to like, I keep reapplying it because I don't want to lose that oranginess. And then the say yes. The Say Yes, which is the chocolate color, definitely will be needed to add some depth and to kind of calm down a little bit the, the brightness of the colors of the eyeshadows. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and clean up any fallout. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, line the top the waterline on the top with black and then I will be back so we can go ahead and finish off the eyes. So I'll see you in a second. Right now I'm just using the putty, the illuminating putty primer from e.l.f. just to kind of smooth out the texture of the skin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, off camera the concealer and the foundation. Okay, so we got the foundation, the primer, of course, the concealer. I set the under eye area as well as the rest of the face. I also did some contouring and some bronzing. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the floral blush, which is a BH Cosmetics uh, color. And this one is called Honolulu Hideaway. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to do that on the cheeks. It has a little dash of gold as well as sort of a hot pink color. I'm just going to tap that on to the apples of the cheeks. Just wanted to have a little bit more color on the cheeks before I finish off the eyes. Okay, so now what I want to do is use one of the uh, highlighters that comes in this great packet from Wet n Wild with the same brush as my blush brush. Just want to add a little bit of highlight there. 
and then right on the bridge of the nose, right on the tip of the nose. And I'm also gonna use a small brush and I'm gonna just tap on with it and just add a little pop of color right there under the brow, just a tiny, tiny bit. Give a little bit of contrast. Mm -hmm. like that. It's just a nice finishing touch to the eye look when you add a little bit of pop of uh, shimmer there just underneath. We are going to go ahead and go back to the eyeliner. I just always like to add a little bit of eyeliner here at the bottom and kind of connect it to the top liner. This is going to help strengthen that eyelash line. By the way, just in case you can't tell, I'm not lining the waterline on the bottom. I'm lining actually the skin that's right there at the base of the lash line, okay? So just to, to make it very clear, okay? And as you see, I didn't go all the way in. All right, so there are two liners that come with this collection. Uh, one of them is called Rosette, uh, which is a copper rose color, and the other one is called Boots, and it's a hot pink color. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the boots. That's the hot pink one. Okay, you can see it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and line the waterline with that. Mm -hmm. Like that. These gel liners from ColourPop are unbelievable. They're so, so great. Um, they have rich pigments, a really creamy texture. So you can go ahead and slide it across the waterline, top and bottom. And it just gives you such an amazing color payoff. And they are waterproof and they are, they really last all day like that. So that's the boots. And then you can use the other one, which is the rosette. You'll see it right here. See, it's more of a metallic -y color. Doing a little bit on the inner corner. And then we have the two uh, Super Shock Shadows. This one here is going to be the Millennial, Millennium Color, sorry, Millennium Color. Very, very pretty. And then we have the other one, which is Main Attraction here. Super nice, right? Yeah. So I wanted to add a little bit of the Millennium Color just right there on the side. So that way when you look forward, you see the gold from the palette, which was that beautiful um, color called Bold, which is the metallic gold there. But I wanted to add a little bit of that Super Shock Shadow so that way you get a chance to see it in, in, in action. So what's great with the Super Shock Shadows is like you basically just use your pinky and you kind of rub it a little bit and then it just activates it. See it? And then here on top, I'm tapping it right on top of the crease colors that I had put. You see? And I, you can see the, the metallic finish. And then it goes into the gold. Like that. All right. So now the next step is going to be going ahead and curling the eyelashes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply mascara on the lashes. I'm going to be using Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. With this formula, I like to do the little zigzag motion with the brush because it does help to deposit more product on each lash. Okay, so we got the top lashes with mascara. So while they're drying, I'm going to go ahead and do the lips. So the lips, I'm going to line them with Morphe in Scarlet. And we're going to be talking and looking at the lippy stick 
which the name of it is very interesting, is called I Heart This. So it's kind of like I love this, but it's I Heart This. And this is one of the four choices of the lipsticks that are available. Uh, this one is kind of like a fuchsia color, so I thought that that would be very, very pretty. Um, the other ones were really nice too. Uh, there was a soft peach, uh, and then there was a couple of like darker tones in more of like the browns, but um, I preferred this one for, for me and for the kind of look that I was going for. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Hey! And I like this hot pink type of color because it always makes the teeth look white, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> All right, so we have that. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the lashes for a second. I'm going to apply the lashes uh, and also do the black mascara on the bottom lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, so we got all the makeup on. I am now going to change into my top and I'm also going to add the hair. And of course, as always, I will see you back with my final thoughts. And uh, and yeah, and I'll let you know all my pros and cons with these makeup uh, colors that we tried on today. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in a second, okay? Okay, so this is the final look for this beautiful collection by ColourPop called Make It Black. I really, really enjoyed the application of these eyeshadows. The eyeshadow palette had such incredibly pigmented, rich colors that went on, had very little to no fallout during the application. Very, very smooth, very, very good payoff. So take a look at these colors, how vibrant they are. They are just so much fun. You got the palette, you have the super shock shadows, which we used the uh, berry colored one right there. I used also the two different eyeliners that came with the set. Um, well, with the collection, because it's not a set, but uh, with the collection and um, yeah. And also the lippy, the lippy stick, so, so pretty beautiful color i'm 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 super excited guys because first of all i consider myself um a person that's uh, an advocate for many different groups out there and uh definitely in the cancer world but also in um <sighs> Just really like everything that's been happening around the uh, the country um, in the last couple of years have really, really touched my heart. And, um, you know, it really means a lot to me to be able to uh, support the black community and uh, with products like this and also just the awareness of these different organizations that are really looking to help pull people up and give them an opportunity to thrive and succeed in life and be given the same opportunities that everybody else gets. So for me to be able to support ColourPop in this, uh, but also to realize that these products are great and a lot of fun. And now, you know, we're going to be going into spring uh, very soon. And uh, I just, for me, it's like the way I put pick myself up from like an emotional hole is to make myself pretty and use vibrant colors and everything. So I'm really, really enjoying the fact that I'm able to get both of those things uh, with this particular collection. So uh, thank you so much, ColourPop, for uh, standing up for the rights of the Black community and involving yourself in uh, in such a strong cause and such a uh, an important cause in this country and in the world. You know, so I'm so thrilled that they were able to provide us with a fun collection of products, but also the awareness that we all need to have to support our uh, black community. As always, guys, I am so appreciative of your time and of watching these videos that I post on a regular basis with the Red Diva channel. So please, please, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like or comment, like and comment <laughs> uh, on these videos, uh, share them with other people that may be interested in learning more about wigs and makeup and hit the notification bell. Uh, I hope you guys know exactly what to do when you have when you open uh the bell portion uh it allows you to hit all so when you hit all in the notification bell 
that means that you're going to get advanced notice of all the videos that I post ahead of time. Uh, whether I'm premiering something or if I just posted something, you will get all that information before everybody else. So you will stay up and current with all the different uh, things that I post. So I really hope that you're able to do that. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for the honor of your time. I really appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you soon and have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye.